Hello, I'm Rear Admiral Phil Cullum, Director of the Navy's Energy and Environmental Readiness Division, and I've got a question for you. With the fireworks and parades of our nation's birthday fresh under our belt, did you know that on July 4th of 1776 that John Hancock was the only person to sign the Declaration of Independence? In fact, it wasn't until August 2nd that most of the others signed, and some signed even later than that. For a minute, just try to imagine the fierce love of freedom that John Hancock must have felt as he picked up his quill, he dipped it in the inkwell, and in large, clear Spencerian script, signed his name. With that simple act, he helped blaze a course into history that ultimately led to our nation's independence from authoritarian rule. Today, we are fighting for our independence on a different front, that of foreign oil. In short, until we have the means to domestically produce the, the energy our nation requires, we will remain vulnerable to the vagaries of petroleum supplies that come largely from places far from our shores. If you visit Navy's Energy, Environmental Readiness, and Climate Change website at greenfleet.dodlive.mil, you can learn about some of the exciting advances we are making in areas such as energy efficiency, renewable energy and alternative fuels, water conservation, and ways of advancing sustainability. The Navy is investing tremendous effort in partnering with industries that are developing cutting-edge technologies specifically aimed at reducing our nation's dependence on foreign oil. Clearly, the scientists and engineers are working hard, but their efforts alone will not be enough to win our nation's latest battle for independence. We must all be in the fight. We must all consciously make good choices about our energy consumption and about our approach to the environment. The bottom line is this. The more we reduce our energy consumption, the more we perfect alternative and sustainable energy sources, and the more we protect our environment, the sooner we will be an energy secure nation. When possible, leave your car at home, carpool, unplug small appliances when not in use, and change your light bulbs to energy efficient ones. These are just a few simple ways that you can help make a difference. This is the month that we celebrate our nation's birthday. And if your family and friends are like mine, then you probably spent the 4th of July grilling and picnicking and watching the fireworks. But I hope you also took a moment to remember all of our nation's patriots and their families whose courage and sacrifices across the generations since the 18th century have given us the freedoms we enjoy today. Please honor their legacy by making choices that help us win our energy independence in the 21st century. Now, since you're watching this video clip, chances are pretty good that you're interested in energy issues, issues that often change overnight. So I encourage you to visit our website regularly. Once again, go to greenfleet.dodlive.mil. Thank you for watching our video clip and be sure to catch our next one in October when we, along with the nation, celebrate Energy Awareness Month. See you then.